Sir, I need to speak to you immediately. I've received a strange hollow message that appears to bear Imperial signal codes. I haven't watched it yet. I wanted you present to supervise and confirm that I'm not engaged in secret communications with Imperial personnel. We better watch it immediately. Yes, sir. I'll load it now. Lara, it's me, Alexei. I... I hope you're well. It's been a long time. Alexei? Sir, this message is from my brother. I don't know what to say. I know this must be hard for you. It's more surprising than anything. I... I honestly never thought I'd see his face again. I'm sorry to contact you like this, but I need your help. My men and I... We're as good as dead. We're on Nar Shaddaa. We were caught tampering with one of the Hut's operations. We never dreamed the slugs would have so much security. These Hut's are Imperial allies, Alara. There is no rescue team. We'll be disavowed and left to die. Please. You're my only hope now. Get your brother out of there, Alara. You've got my leave. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your willingness to help, given the circumstances. I believe I can bring him to our side. I know my brother better than anyone. I can convince him to defect. Perhaps it's best if I see to this matter alone, sir. Alexei will be much easier to convince if he doesn't feel outnumbered. I'm going out on a limb here, Dorn. Don't let me down. I won't, sir. You can count on me. Coordinates are included at the end of the message. I'll prep my gear for search and rescue. The operation was a complete success, sir. Per code 23 of the Enemy Interaction Guidelines, Alexei officially defected to the Galactic Republic. Given the circumstances, we didn't have much time to catch up, but I have my brother back. Thank you for allowing me to help him. I'm happy to hear that everything worked out. Hopefully Personnel Division will allow me to stay in contact with Alexei. Not privately, of course, and help guide him through the defection process. I should start compiling notes for him. Thanks again, sir. Sir, I I'm sorry to bother you, but I've received a troubling message from Captain Kalor, my supervisory officer from Personnel Division. He ordered me to contact him immediately. I hoped you could join me for the conversation. I'd be glad to. Thank you very much, sir. I'll raise him on the hollow now. Captain Kalor, this is Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795. Reporting in per your request. Always the whole mess, every time. <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you for returning my call, Alara. It's about this whole situation with your brother. You did a great job, obviously, but people are starting to think you have more information than you're sharing. We got a lead, and Alara acted on it. End of story. Maybe, maybe not. Alara, if you have information you'd like to share, I think this would be a good time for you to come in. I appreciate the offer, but I have no further information of value to you. Suit yourself. I have work to do. Kalor out. He's still demanding more. After everything I've done, what do I have to do to prove myself? You're a good soldier, Alara. You've got nothing to prove. Thank you, sir. But I think it's clear that some people don't feel the same way. Let's just get back to work. I'd rather focus on something else for a while. Sir, I need your approval to requisition some supplies for my medical kit. I've categorized the items by relative priority. Everything fits within our allotment under Supply Code 18, but items near the bottom of the list can wait if necessary. Best to make sure you can still patch up my handsome face. Yes, sir. I'd say your features are worthy of preservation. You just can't resist me, Dorn. Admit it. I wouldn't go that far, sir. I'd best get on with submitting this requisition now. I'm still quite concerned about Captain Kalor and his accusations, sir. If Personnel Division thinks I'm withholding information about the Empire, they can continue hounding me under Security Regulation 15. I think if men like Kalor had their way, I'd be locked in a room reciting the minutiae of Imperial culture until the end of time. You'll get a lot more done in the field. I couldn't agree more. I do sometimes wonder if I'm being unfair, though. I'm one of the only people in the Republic with extensive knowledge of Imperial culture. 
Perhaps I have a responsibility to do what few others can. Even if it's not what I'd like to be doing. You shouldn't be forced to do anything. I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels that way. Thank you for taking the time to hear me out. It's good to have someone to talk to. I know I'm your commander, but uh, that doesn't have to be all. I hadn't... <sighs> that isn't something I'm used to considering. I really shouldn't occupy any more of your time. Thank you, sir. Could I speak with you privately for a moment? I just need you to know, sir, that I've become quite fond of you. You've helped me far more than anyone I've ever known. Because of this, I'm forced to ask if perhaps you might feel the same fondness for me? See if you can guess. <laughs> yes. I get the impression that you aren't entirely impartial to me. I'm just... Personal Code Section 2 discourages romantic relationships between personnel, particularly commanding officers. I want to spend more time with you, but I don't want to negatively affect squad performance. This could be a risky move. On the other hand, Personnel Code Section 1 encourages personnel to spend time together socially. Correlations between interpersonal compatibility and unit performance are strongly positive. We should probably return to our duties, but I think this is the right choice.